Welcome to Good Mythical More. Here we are, just hanging out, taking all of our experience with Family Feud and reversing it. Yeah, I'm excited. So we're gonna be given all the answers and we have to come up with what the survey was. Yeah, what, what, what the question was, and I will also be talking about pussy sores. Um, Great. Where that came from. Great. But first, congratulations to Sarah, hashtag merchicality winner, $30 to the mythical.com store because you rep that mythical merch out in the wild, including the uh, mythical kitchen apron. Knocking out this carbonara. It looks like they might have a tattoo, of, a mythical tattoo of some sort. Could that, be. That could be a cock. Could be. There, but. Uh, you know what, you wear your merch out in the wild, you put it on the internet, we might find you and give you money so you can just get more. Congratulations. Let's play a couple of rounds and then we'll... Um, we'll oh, we have pepper, our compliment we'll boards. We'll pepper too. in our compliment boards along the way. Okay, cool. Let's see this first board then. Road, a drive. Person. Person. Skin. Avocado. Food. Frog. Toad. What? Answers that can be given, two answers that can be given on the same as one answer in Family Feud, I think okay. is the answer. Uh, they all have you wanna just You wanna just go without the boards here since it's hard for you to write? I think it has I something like to writing. do with something being wet. Road person. Something that is slippery. Avocado. Something that if it's slippery, you can. Um, something that is slippery when wet. Oh, that's a good guess. Um, what if it's, What is slippery with wet? We surveyed 100 people. <clears throat> what is something that is slippery when wet? Uh, what's something that's green when. Yeah, because. Yeah, a frog and an avocado. But why would it be a person in a road and not green? Something that gets more dangerous when it gets wet. Some something that is hard. It's it's harder when it's wet. Um. Why would it be avocado? Specifically. Some. First of all, why would sixty-three people say road? You're. Because slippery when wet, we would be. You would say road. That. You're on the right track. That it's uh, all these things share an adjective, but not slippery. But but not slippery Slip. or wet. Not slip. It's not about wetness. Yeah. Mo moist. Um, no, it's, it's it, not about any kind of wet. It's not about any we kind of wetness. We asked 100 people. Name some moist things. So if it's not uh, in the sun, something that dries up in the sun. <laughs> a person. Uh, what? A drive. I mean, three out of four ain't bad. Something that turns brown. In the sun. In the sun. A no, drive. it's it's. Think about the think about the surface of these things. Something, something that gets that's rougher rough. when you touch it. <laughs> something that. Something that has a rough surface. Close. A drive? Something that has a... Uh, something that's bumpy. There we go. Ha! Yeah. Name something that might be bumpy. I got it. Name something that might be All bumpy. All right, let's do another one. Okay, here we go. Ooh, humor, personality. 42. Bay is balling. <laughs> 24. Their smile. That lickable head. Those extra large lips, though. You didn't say that. Uh oh. That lickable head? His laugh, his, okay, so this is things you love about Steve Harvey. Yes. Close. Right. Character, heart, sexy stash gives it away. Um, Steve Harvey's most notable attribute. Now you're closer with your first. What about his uh, his, his suit? His, that's all his fine threads. Things Steve Harvey is He's hiding. Not, things Steve Harvey is known for. You said things you love about Steve Harvey, but the you part is where there, there's more. Things I love about Steve Harvey. <laughs> things Steve Harvey loves about himself. Ways Who? that Steve Harvey describes himself. Things that ladies love about Steve Harvey. Cl okay, more specifically. Things that Steve Harvey's wife loves about him. There we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Is that was that actually one of them? Yeah. Name something Steve Harvey's wife would probably say she loves about him. They've gotten to that point. I mean, we know the whole show is basically about him, but they literally made the game about it. That lickable head. That lickable head. I love the fact that that's somebody's job is to take that and then turn it into that lickable head. Let me tell you a quick story. Um, it's very quick. About sores? We, I don't know if we have told this story, but my brother was emceeing an event that we were at in college. At like a camp that we, it was a church event. when we were in, involved in crusade. So and he's emceeing the whole thing where like Carolina Duke and NC State come together. So a few hundred students, and then our campus director at the time, Mike, wanted to kind of throw him off because he was, uh, you know, like a either he was a student or a new staff guy emceeing the whole thing, yeah. and so. He was going through the rules for the camp, like don't do this, don't do that. And so Mike wrote, no pussy sores in the pool, <laughs> without realizing that he had written no, because pussy and we get it. thing are written in the same way. And he hands it to him in front of everyone. And he like looks at it. Did he say it? He didn't say it, he just was like, I don't know it. why Mike wants me to say this, but I am not going to say it. <laughs> and then later we all found out that he handed him a, a little note that said pussy sores on it. And so, I don't know. Every, it's good that he didn't say Every it. six to eight months, if some if we're talking about a pool, we'll say no pussy sores in the pool. Which is true. I mean, he was right. Um, That's let, the let's, story. Let's see our, our compliments, or at least one of them. Let's see one, one compliment board here. Whose do you want? Uh, whose is this? It's up. All right. Brett. Coming in at number four, what do we have? Nice sweaters. Oh, oh. what a quinky. Hold on, did you just make this just now? Did they tell you to wear a nice sweater today? No, but do you like my sweaters? <laughs> Nine people said that. This one's got two buttons. Was this an actual survey or is this just three buttons? <laughs> for real? No. <laughs> no, not for real. And number three, we've got. Can be trusted with I okay. love this. All right. Yeah, well, it's compliments about you. Of yeah. course you love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, and the number two thing that Rhett loves about himself. <laughs> Good at winning. And the number one thing that people chose to compliment Rhett about. Great hair beard. Yes. Well, that's very exciting. <laughs> Do you want to wait on yours? I want to wait on mine. Okay. But... And you know what? I don't want to wait on mine. <laughs> I'd like to go ahead and get mine out there okay. because, All right. I mean, you know what? I'd like for you to do my, what I did for you. Okay, and coming in at number four. Friendly around the office. Oh. Friendly around the office. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another so thing that people love about Link. <laughs> Looks good in a Hey, well, these are these are actually they're, they're, not I, they're compliments. They're not cheap shots. Yeah, yeah. Well, but there's still two more to go. Coming in at number two. Funny balls Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Becoming known for it. And the number one thing that people love about Link. Gracious loser. <laughs> wow, guys. It all what's twenty eight plus twenty five plus seventeen plus five? One writer was really nice to me. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, before we get to the next one, check out my podcast with my dad. If everything that you could say positive about me, um, my dad would like to take credit for. Mm. Mm. No, uh, well, I talk to my dad every, every week, and we record it. And now we put it on video Form Whoa. format. Wow, that's, yeah. a, that's another thing you're good at is putting your podcast on video. So every Tuesday, wherever you get your podcast, uh, listen in on a 30 minute conversation between me and my dad. You can even help shape it by emailing him at rather it, letter B shaggin no G fifty three the numbers at aol dot com. But that Tuesday is a new release day for the podcast. It's a, yeah, and then Thursday is when the video comes out on YouTube. So subscribe to that YouTube channel. Which uh, just searched dispatches from Myrtle YouTube, Beach. YouTube, what's that? Okay, shall we see another board? We shall. Mm -hmm. Sleep, snore, talk slash cuss, play on the phone, grinder, chug flask, 
annoying things that. But why is it sleep? My my son comes home, does when he comes home from college. So sleep is. I don't the, have a son in college. So, so sleep is the number one answer by far. So almost eighty people said sleep slash snore. Bad habits, annoying habits that my mother-in-law does. We asked 100 people, name something you shouldn't do in an interview. Be on grinder. <laughs> <laughs> something you shouldn't do, like this isn't when you're being expected. No, okay, something you shouldn't do in church. Oh, yeah. Nice, so, right? Maybe something yes. you shouldn't do at church during the sermon. I guess during other parts, it's okay to during be on grinder. Chug, chug a flask. Chug a flask. Go, 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 Play go. on the phone, specifically grinder. Don't be on grinder. That is, I mean, Family Feud has gotten, it's a comedy show. The fact that grinder, four people said, like, nobody said grinder. Nobody Every, said grinder. Four people said The Play writer the who, who translates these said, into an answer says grinder. Right. Because it'd be funny. Grinder at church. I think so. Give me another one. Spray hose in quotes. Slide on the fire pole, ladder climb, run upstairs, axe motion, lift, carry partner, set a fire. Sexy things firemen do. Yeah, close. You're, you're in the right general territory. Um, things I wanna see firemen do on a calendar. We asked 100. 100 women, what they would like a fireman to do to them. Ax motion. <laughs> Run up their I stairs. I want you to spray me with your hose. <laughs> things that are hard for- I want you to ax motion me so hard. <laughs> things, things that are hard for a fireman not to do. <laughs> Set a fire. <laughs> hey, growing up, I you know we had oh, we had a yeah, we, we had a we had a volunteer times. fireman who couldn't help but set the fires because he was bored. Yeah, you set him and forget him. <laughs> yeah. no, set, Actually, set. you set him and then you go then you call everybody and say, hey, there's a fire. This address, be there. How are you always the first one there? I don't know, man. I got a sixth sense. <laughs> I started it. <laughs> <laughs> Spray hose. Why is hose in? Because quotes. it's like his penis. Because it's the family feud, man. Is this dirty? No. They make it that way. They want you to make it that way. Um, what would you like to do with a fireman? <laughs> slide on the fire pole. What would you like to watch a fireman do? Um, when, when... A stripper dressed as a fireman would do what? Um, it's not... Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the closest. That's the closest. I'm gonna. Most injuries happen where at the fireplace. But I was close. But it's kind of you do something about dancing. Mm. Sh strippers? No, no. What would the fireman dance involve? There we go. If there were a dance move called the fireman, what's one thing you might do? I keep in it? wanting to hit you on the shoulder. Axe motion. Why? Why just then did you want to hit me on the shoulder? Because it was like, I told you. Oh. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, we well, I need to switch Here, sides. This is the thing I'm worried about. Am I going to basically div like lose my tendency to do like a friendly punch on you at moments when I need to, and then I won't be able to get it back? That's fine. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to disrupt our conversation, but we do have gay lovemaking on the board. <laughs> They love it, man, down there in Atlanta. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I don't mean gay. <laughs> in Atlanta, I don't mean. I mean, I'm sure they do. I mean, I'm sure they do everywhere. I mean, when in gay, Atlanta, they love gay love making everywhere. But what I'm saying is that the crowd in Atlanta is the crowd that you're making the show for, because that's the studio audience. Oh, that's where it's filmed. Yeah, I didn't know that. And so, you know, it's like we're kind of in the South, but we're in like a metro area where we can say things like grinder in church and it's still kind of funny. Like that's, that's, what, that's what I'm getting at. Sports fishing, cold brewskis, poker games, gay love making. Something, uh, gay love something old men, old retired men do with each other. Something best male friends do with each other. 
Uh, Gay love making. You're, you're on the right track. What lonely men resort to <laughs> when they're stranded on an island? Well, we've already gone fishing and played <laughs> poker. <laughs> we've done, we've done everything. We've ruled everything else out. Uh, I think this is um, best when you friends. get delirious at the Bass Pro Shops. <laughs> What would you do if you were stuck in a Bass Pro Shop for more than 48 hours? It all ends in gay love making. <laughs> right after the poker game. <laughs> I mean, if uh, think about if renting, can you rent out the whole Bass Pro I Shop? I hope so. That's a good, that's a good idea. I wanna rent like that, py any, that pyramid in Memphis. Anything goes. It's the, it's the Bass Pro Shops, anything goes, it's like, the Bass Pro Shops Purge Night. <laughs> yeah. yeah, at least five out She's of those. Like, I've rented it out. Yeah, at least five out of those. And I've locked guys the doors. Are gonna be are gonna realize they're at least a little bit gay after they've been in there for a couple of days. All right. I mean, this. I think my dog may have peed on this shirt. <laughs> I keep smelling. Smell the back. I do this at home all the time. I have to freaking smell my freaking pillows. Because if you because if you leave it, Jasper might yeah, and Sean will go for it. It's fine back here. What about the front? Just like it, just just like a night at the Bass Pro Shop. No, it you Febrezed it. I what? Well, because there was a wrinkle down the middle. Oh, you wrinkled you wrinkled sprayed it. So give us a hint, Stevie. Uh, uh it it involves men. Um. And guilty pleasures, friends, buddies, uh, uh, ways that men lose all their money. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's it. Um, name something that brings men, men together. Ye yeah, that's yeah. the answer. That's it. Brings men closer together. What makes, what makes men connect with each other? Yep, sports and fishing, <laughs> most mostly. Beer and poker. And then gay love. And then let's get very, very close. Um, yeah. Can't get any closer than that. Dispatches from Myrtle Beach is back for season three and it's coming out on Tuesdays now for audio and video on YouTube on Thursday starting this week.